teacher, que no eran 12 minutos. Yes. Lo siento, sí, les dije que eran 12 minutos, pero cuando entramos a la sesión de grupos me tiró el error que me tira siempre, ¿ok? Y lo saqué mejor porque no podía ingresar, no podía ingresar de ninguna manera y si no puede ingresar eso significa que el tiempo no cuenta, ¿ok? Y eso significa que me tengo que alargar más en la sesión y no quiero alargarme más en la sesión porque no es justo que por problemas de la plataforma ustedes estén pagando y se queden más tarde. Así que por esa razón mejor decidí sacarlos ahorita y lo vamos a hacer mejor aquí. Vamos a tomar un espacio para hacerlo, ¿ok? So we will take a space to do it. ¿De acuerdo? No es porque yo, yo les dije 12 minutos, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Ok? ¿Por qué pensé que iba a funcionar? Porque la vez pasada me funcionó, pero ahorita no funcionó, así que por eso lo saqué para que no perdamos mucho tiempo. So we don't waste too much time, ¿ok? So uh, I don't know if you uh, classify this, the, the things that happen and the things that didn't happen. ¿Clasificaron las cosas que pasaron y las que no pasaron? Yes. Or you need more time. Necesitan más tiempo. You need more time for that. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, yeah. Three minutes. Tres minutos más. Maybe three minutes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then uh, take three extra minutes to classify, right? Uh, the things that happened and the, and the things that didn't happen. For example, the, one thing that happened. What is it? ¿Qué es una cosa que pasó? One thing that happened. And Luz did call at Eva. Sorry? No sé si está bueno. No, no, repeat it. It's okay. Repeat it. Luz did call at Eva. Okay, Luz called Eva. That's correct. Luz called Eva. It's correct. Okay. That is one thing that happened, right? Okay, and one thing that didn't happen, algo que no pasó, something that didn't happen. Uh, the agent didn't give her the confirmation number. That's right, the, the agent didn't give Eva the confirmation number. Okay, so continue with the others. Continuing, three minutes more and then we check. Three more minutes and then we check. Okay.
Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, first, well, actually, Carla, I think, mentioned uh, one thing that happened, right? And somebody mentioned one thing that didn't happen, all right? So one thing that happened was that the uh, Luz called Eva, right? That's one thing that happened. Uh, can you tell me another thing that happened, please? Otra cosa que pasó, another thing that happened in the conversation? Uh, it was so considerate. Who? Uh, Who? Uh, Ro the, Romeo. Ah, the Romeo. Okay, the second agent was so considerate. Very good, this excellent. Another thing that happened, please? Otra cosa que pasó, another thing that happened? Luz did apology with Eva. Ah, that's right. Uh, Luz gave her apologies to Eva. That's right. It's correct. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más? What else happened? Okay. And uh, Eva uh, called another agent. Okay. Let me see who, who was participating. Dian el nombre antes de participar para saber quién lo va a hacer. And okay. Lucy, Eva called another agent. Okay, Lucy says Eva called another agent. Is correct, okay? She called another yeah. agent. Lucy, sorry, uh, Eva called another agent. All right, so uh, the boy, el chico que iba a participar, ¿quién es? El Nilsson, I think, right? Me. Yeah, and me? Uh, the compliment. Okay, el Nilsson, el Nilsson, go ahead. Yeah, okay. The compliment is uh, he did explain her the use of product. That's right. So Romeo explained the use of the product or everything, okay, to Eva. It's correct. Thank you, Ellen Nielsen. Who else? Uh, it's, it's okay. She did buy a product. She bought a product. It's correct. She bought a product, okay? She bought a product. Uh, I have a question for you, uh, Christina. And Luz, Luz okay. ask for the product. Luz ask for the product. product. Is, is correct. Okay, she, she asked for information about the product or for the attention, right? I think. Okay, thank you, Carla Maria. Christina, do you want to participate? Luz did ask the name of agent. Ah, Lucy asked for the name of the agent, right? Uh, okay, and I have a question for you. Could Eva use the product? Could Eva use the product? Pudo usar el producto? Could Eva use the product? Yes, yeah, she could. Yeah, she could. Yes, right, at the end, at the end, right? Okay, very good. Yeah, because at the beginning. Yeah, because? Because, Elenisa? Because at the beginning, yeah. yeah, because at the beginning it was, um, it, it, she couldn't. She couldn't because it wasn't easy, right? <clears throat> yeah. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Now let's check uh, the things that didn't happen, okay? So, uh, antes de participar, den el nombre para yo saber quién es, porque aquí no lo estoy viendo a todos así como en la sesión principal, okay? Okay. So, uh, so tell me things that didn't happen. Cosas que no pasaron. Things that didn't happen. Santos. Santos, okay. He did not say his name. Who? Quien? Who? Uh, Eva. Eva. Eva didn't say the name. Eva. Or the, or the agent. Oh. Sí. Who didn't say the name? Eva or the agent? ¿Quién no dijo el nombre? Eva or the agent? Oh, sorry, sorry. The agent, the agent. You can say, uh, Santos, yeah. you can say uh, the agent one because the, the conversation mentions two agents, right? Agent okay. one didn't say the name, all right? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, thank you, Santos. Uh, so one more thing that didn't happen? Hector. Hector, okay, go ahead. The agent didn't give her the confirmation number. Agent one or agent two? Agent one. Agent one, exactly. Agent one didn't give the confirmation 
a confirmation number. Thank you, Edgar. Who else? Quien más? Who else? Carlos. Carlos, go ahead. Uh, agent one didn't even send a receipt. Oh, agent one didn't even send a receipt. That's right. Agent one, he didn't even send a receipt. Good. Do we have more? Tenemos más? Do we have more? No more? Ya no hay más? No more things that, that I mean, no more things? Agent one wasn't kind. Okay, that's another thing that happened. Agent one wasn't kind. El agente uno no fue cortés. He wasn't kind. Uh, what else didn't happen? ¿Qué más no pasó? He wasn't, yeah. Uh, she, she done, uh, uh, remember the agent's name. That's right. She didn't remember the agent's name. Exactly, because the agent didn't say the name, right? Excellent, Javier. Very good. And also, it wasn't easy to use the product, right? It wasn't easy to use the product at the beginning, all right? Basically, that's it. Basicamente, eso es todo. Basically, that's it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, let's listen to some pairs pronouncing the conversation. Okay, escuchemos algunas parejas. Let's listen to some pairs. Okay, so let's listen to Hector and Javier. Hector, uh, you take a uh, loose roll and Javier, you take Eva's roll, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Can you tell me more about your experience? I want to, I want to know because the agents didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what about. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He was keen. My, my, apolo my apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. I want so easy, but a color but I call another agent again. He also considerates his name was Romeo and he explained everything to me. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Javier and Hector. Uh, the pronunciation uh, for you. Javier and for everybody, okay? The pronunciation for this is didn't, didn't, didn't. Uh, didn't. Yes, oh, yes, didn't. And the pronunciation didn't. for this is wasn't. 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 Ah, okay. Wasn't. Didn't, okay. wasn't. Okay. Didn't and Thank wasn't. You. And for this is kind. Kind. Okay. For for everybody, right? Not only for Javier, for everybody. Okay. So thank you very much, Javier and Hector. Very good. That was excellent. Now let's listen to a pair of girls. A pair of girls. So let's listen to uh, Carla, Maria, and Lucy. Uh, Lucy, you are Luz, and Carla, Maria, you are Eva. Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what about. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologize for that. And what about our product? Could you see it? Yes, could I you could. Use it? <laughs> yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay, that was amazing. That was excellent. Thank you very much, Lucy and Carla Maria. Uh, just the pronunciation for, for this is apologies, okay? Lucy, apologies in everybody, okay? Lucy and everybody, okay? Apologies, my apologies, okay? Thank you very much. Let's listen to another pair of boys. 
So let's listen to Elenilson and Carlos. All right, Elenilson and Carlos. Elenilson, uh, you, you take Luz's role. Elenilson, you take Luz's role, and Carlos, you take Eva's role. Okay. 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 Perfect. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for a while or what a, or what about about. Okay, do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. Okay, my, my apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy. But I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. And he explained everything to me. Everything to me. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much, Carlos and El Nilsson. Very good. Thumbs up. Excellent. Okay, now let's listen to a last pair of girls. Uh, two girls. So let's listen to Carla Raquel. And let me look for another girl. Carla Raquel, I said, right? Carla Raquel and, and, and Lucy, uh, and Cristina. Carla Raquel and Cristina. So Carla Raquel, you are Luz, and Cristina, you are Eva. Okay. Can you tell me, can you tell me a bit your experience? It wasn't so nice because the actions didn't didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what a bone. Do you do you remember do you remember the agent the agent name? No, I don't. Actuality, I think he didn't say his name. He was kind. My apology for that. And what about your product? Who you you say? Yes, I call. I wasn't too easy, but I call her another agent or guy. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained explained every to me. Okay, thank you very much, girls. Thank you very much. Uh, this is actually okay. Actually. Actually, everything, okay, everything, and considerate, 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 considerate. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much uh, for your uh, participation. Okay, um, I just want you to, I, I just want to talk about something we started the last week, okay? As you remember, the last week we studied the simple past, okay? And we studied the past tense of the verb to be, that is was and where, que es was y where, si recuerdan, was y where, I was, right? I was, I was in the class just uh, on Friday, for example, I was in the class on Friday. Yo estaba en la clase el viernes. Or maybe you can say, uh, Carla was, Carla was in the class on Friday. Or Ellen Nielsen, Ellen Nielsen was in the class on Friday, okay? Now, when you say we, you, they, usamos el where, el pasado del be eh, para, en plural es where, okay? For example, uh, we were in class on Friday. Nosotros estuvimos en la clase el viernes. We were in class on Friday. Or I can say uh, you, You, right? Ustedes, you were in class on Friday. Ustedes estuvieron en la clase el viernes, okay? You were in class on Friday. Or talking about, uh, let me see, dos que estuvieron en la clase el viernes, Carlos and, and Javier. So I say, Carlos and Javier were in the class on Friday, okay? Because it's plural, yeah? So el pasado del verbo to be is was and where, okay? Que es... Estaba o era, depende del pronombre que usemos. It depends on the pronoun or the subject we are using, okay? 
So, repeating. Para I, he, she, para esos pronombres usamos el was. Para los pronombres plurales y el you en singular que es tú, usamos el where. You wear, we wear, they wear. ¿Ok? Eso era el pasado del verbo to be, según lo que estudiamos la semana pasada. ¿Ok? Y también estudiamos el pasado de los verbos en general. The past tense of the verbs in general, right? Yeah? For example, I say, I called my boss on Friday. I called. Le pongo ED al verbo, right? Para verbos irregulares les ponemos ED o jugamos o conjugamos con algunas reglas. I called. And I say, I called. I called my boss on Friday. ED, called. ¿Ok? Y les voy a mostrar por aquí para que, nada más para que recuerden, just for you to remember, ¿ok? Porque el tema de hoy está relacionado y quiero que entiendan esto primero, ¿ok? Here, look. Por aquí esta parte. Simple past. Por aquí lo tenemos. We have it here. Simple past. So I say, I gave my account's information. I gave. Gave es el pasado del verbo give. That is dar. Yo di la información de mi cuenta. I gave my account's information. So the verb is in past. El verbo va en pasado en positivo. Number two. He called yesterday at night. Miren, se le pone ED. Él llamó ayer en la noche. He called yesterday at night. The program worked well. Worked. We put ED, ponemos ED. El programa funcionó bien. Worked. They bought that product last week. But es el pasado de buy. Ellos compraron ese producto la semana pasada. It's past, right? So in simple past, positive, en el pasado simple positivo, el verbo va en pasado. Si es un verbo regular, le ponemos ed. Si es un verbo irregular, el verbo cambia. Like this. And this. Ok? Very good. Muy bien. Esto es solo para recordar. Just to remember a little bit. But let's go to today's topic. Vamos al tema de hoy. Let's go to today's topic. So listen. In today's topic, we continue studying the past. But in this specific case, we will study the negative form of the past. La forma negativa del pasado. So, if it's the verb to be, I say wasn't or weren't. Wasn't or weren't in the negative. For example, I wasn't interested. Javier wasn't interested. Santos wasn't interested. Lucy wasn't interested. Cristina wasn't interested. ¿Ok? Para el, para el I, he, she, and it, uso el wasn't. Weren't. You weren't cold. ¿Ok? Tú no tenías frío. You weren't cold. O no estaba frío. ¿Right? He wasn't kind. Él no, 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 no fue cortés. He wasn't kind. The people weren't helpful. Las personas no fueron útiles. And they weren't online. Ellos no estaban en línea. So the negative of the verb to be is wasn't and weren't. Okay? Wasn't or weren't. Repeating, repitiendo, depende del pronombre que usemos. Okay? Si es el I, he, she, and it, vamos a decir wasn't. Wasn't. Y si es plural, o you, vamos a decir weren't. ¿Ok? Good. ¿Is it clear till there? ¿Está, ¿Estamos claros hasta ahí? ¿Is it, clear till, ¿Is it clear here? ¿This part? ¿Is it clear? If you have questions, you can ask in this moment. Or no questions. No? No questions. Esto es solo para el verbo to be en pasado, okay? que es wasn't y weren't. Ok. Ok, if you have no questions, let's go to the next part. Simple past. Now using other verbs, usando otros verbos. Now listen. And pay attention carefully. Y pongamos mucha atención. Pay a lot of attention here. Para el negativo, usamos didn't, didn't, didn't didn't and didn't for the simple past. And the verb, y el verbo si se fijan, the verb is in present. El verbo va en presente si se fijan. And you can tell me here, y aquí me pueden decir, teacher, pero que el verbo no va en pasado, que no estamos hablando en pasado. 
And you are right. Tendrían razón. But here, aquí en este caso, in this specific case, el didn't hace el pasado. Así que el verbo va en presente. ¿Ok? El didn't hace el pasado. So the verb is in present. I didn't receive any number. You didn't send a contract. Tú no enviaste un contrato. He didn't say his name. Él no dijo su nombre. She didn't call again. And we didn't buy a product. Ok, so the verb is in present in the negative. En el negativo el verbo va en presente because we use didn't, porque usamos el didn't. El didn't hace el negativo. Didn't makes the negative, ok. En cambio en positivo, si ponemos el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? We put the verb in past. So, do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Ask me your questions. Ask me your questions, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... O sea, estaría, estaría mal dicho si yo pongo I did receive. I quiero did receive. Refer, ajá, y quiero This referirme is, al pasado. What you are saying is very interesting, uh, Carlos. What you are saying is very interesting. Uh, Carlos' question is if we can say I did receive, right? That's Carlos' question, okay? I did receive. Um, este sería para positivo. I did receive. Yo recibí. I did receive. Right, Carlos? That's your question, right? Yes. Correct. Right. Okay. For, Carlos is asking if for positive, si para positivo puedo decir I did receive. I did receive your number. Yes, of course. Se puede usar solo que cuando usamos el did, antes de un verbo, el verbo va en presente, es para resaltar algo, es para dar énfasis a algo ok, aquí estoy dando énfasis I did receive your number I'm giving more emphasis to that Do, estoy dando más énfasis a es, a es, es, estoy dándole como más énfasis a la oración, ok, so that's the sense of this sentence, but it's ok pero no es que siempre lo van a usar ok, es para dar énfasis nada más a lo que estoy diciendo, it's just to emphasize what I'm saying, ok any other question? I did call you yesterday, for example. I did call you yesterday. Yo te llamé ayer. I did call you yesterday. Yo te llamé ayer. Estoy dando énfasis a eso. Okay? I am giving emphasis to that. Okay? No. But I, I, called, I called you. Or you can say, I called you yesterday. But it's not the same purpose. Because when you say, I did, it's like, you want to give a lot of emphasis to, the, to, to your sentence. Okay? Quieren darle mucho énfasis o realce a su oración, ¿ok? Yeah, you say, I did call you yesterday. Eso, teacher, perdón. Yes, sir. go ahead. Es como, con, como cuando nosotros decimos en ese caso, I did call yesterday, es, eh, yo sí te llamé ayer. That's es right. El, el énfasis. That's right. It's correct. <laughs> Any other question? Teacher, para decir, eh, yo trabajé ayer, es, I did, I did work, I did work yesterday. No, no, lo que le estoy diciendo es que eso es solo para dar énfasis, ¿ok? No es que siempre van a usar el did, ¿all right? Si no entonces, quieren dar énfasis a algo, vamos a usar entonces la forma normal del pasado, ¿ok? Ay. En este caso, lo que Santo me está preguntando, entonces Gracias. diríamos, I worked yesterday, I worked, con ed iría al verbo. Ajá. Bueno, iba ah, a ir al positivo porque eso lo vimos el viernes. Sí, pero ahí el verbo va en pasado nada más. I worked with ED. Ah, okay. Like this. Ok, let me write okay. it for you. Thank you. Let me write it here. Like this. Working past is worked. Ok, worked with ED. So you say, I worked yesterday. El verbo okay. lleva el pasado. ED, ED that's right. Any other question? I want this to be clear. Quiero que este, esto quede claro. I want this to be clear. The good news here, las buenas noticias aquí son que como en los otros tiempos que batallamos, que a veces con el he o con el she lleva otro, otra forma. No, aquí no. Aquí es didn't for all the pronouns, ¿ok? El didn't va para todos los pronombres acá, para todos los sujetos. For all the subjects, ¿ok? No es como el presente que para unos pronombres ponemos don't y para otros ponemos doesn't. No, here is the same for all the pronouns, ¿ok? Didn't for all the pronouns, ¿ok? 
didn't, para todos los pronombres, para todos los sujetos, always. All right. So, no more questions, then? No more questions? En este caso, teacher, eh, podría decir, I didn't eh, any meetings. But you need the verb. And the verb, I didn't have any ah, meetings, I, maybe. Or I didn't ah, attend. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Ahí sí necesito el, el, el verbo para... That's right. Para That's correct. Completar. Yes. Mm. I didn't okay. attend any meetings. I, uh, there is something important. Hay algo que siempre confunde a, muchas, a, a muchos estudiantes acá también con, cuando usamos el didn't. ¿Ok? I didn't. Cuando uso el didn't, yo uso el verbo do. I, I say I didn't do. Ah, pero did es el pasado de do. Sí, pero este es un verbo auxiliar y el verbo principal debe ser do. I didn't do my tasks. For example, yo no hice mis tareas. I didn't do my tasks. ¿Ok? No es solo I did en tasks, porque el did es el pasado de do, no. Did es un verbo auxiliar y siempre debe ir un verbo principal. En this case, do. I didn't do my homework. Yo no hice mi tarea. I didn't do my homework, ¿ok? So, any other question? No? So, if we have no questions, then let's work. Trabajemos en algo entonces acá. Easy. Let's pass these sentences to negative. Pasemos estas oraciones al negativo. Let's pass these sentences to negative. ¿Ok? So do it on your notebook. Ah, no en su cuaderno. Do it on your notebook, please. Remember that the present of the verb to be is am, is, and are. El pasado del verbo to be es a. El presente, sorry, del verbo to be es am, is, are. So these sentences are in present. So you need to pass these sentences into past. Vamos a pasarlas a forma pasada de estas oraciones. En negative, right? Of course. Y en forma negativa, en negative form.
same action. Uh, please, when you finish, go to reactions and raise your hand, okay? When you finish, go to reactions and raise your hands, please. Uh, this activity is on page number 32, okay? This activity is on page number 32. Page number 32, página 32, page number 32. So you can find the exercise there.
Uh, don't forget to go to reactions and raise your hand if you finished, okay? Si terminaron, no olviden ir a reacciones y levantar la mano. Just to see the people, okay? To keep a record of the people who are, uh, who have finished. I'll give you two more minutes before we check, okay? Two more minutes before we check. I'll give you three because I can see the majority hasn't finished. Three more minutes before we check.
Okay, uh, let's see what you have quickly, all right? I, ha I hear I have uh, some names, all right, of the people who will participate for this activity, okay? Uh, so let's see, let me share screens with you and I will add text, okay? So Hazel, uh, how is number one in past and in negative? Hazel, number I one. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. I wasn't? Satisfied with my laptop. Satisfied with my laptop. What about the others? Do you have the same? Tienen lo mismo? Do you have the same? Yes. Yes, yes right. Mm -hmm. It's correct. So I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Let's see, Rafa. What do we have in number two, Rafa? She doesn't write a letter to her boss. Okay, she didn't. Um, sorry. Uh, she didn't write a letter to her boss. Do you have the same, everybody? Or you have it different? No, it's the same, same. It's the same, right? Is that maybe here you can say, Marta, okay, or she, it's okay. But since we are saying, we are passing the sentence to negative only, we say Marta. Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. Okay, thank you, Rafa, that's very good. Thank you very much. Let's see number three. Let's listen to Daniel. Daniel, do you have number three? Hello, Daniel. Hi, teacher. Do you have number three? We are didn't. We are didn't. See. Hmm. Uh, what about the others? What do you think? We didn't. Be we so didn't. Fun. We didn't. Hmm. We weren't. So we weren't. weren't. Remember, R is in present. In past is weren't. Okay, so you say we were. Rent according to the explanation is weren't okay. Thank you, Hector. So we weren't so happy, all right. We weren't uh, so happy with the food service, okay. With the food service, okay. So that's how it looks. We weren't. Recuerden que para el para el para los plurales para la forma pasada el verbo to be es where. In this case, it's weren't, okay, in the negative, okay? So let's see number four, Ulysses. Do you have number four? Ulysses, do you have number four? Who wants to help Ulysses? Quien quiere ayudarle a Ulysses? Who wants to help Ulysses? Volunteers. The number we, four teacher. Yes, number four, Elenison. Pedro and me weren't right to the company. Pedro and me didn't drive to the when? company. Okay, that's excellent. It's perfect. So uh, do you have the same, everybody? Tiene lo mismo? Do you have the same? Yes, right? Mm -hmm. So Pedro yeah. and me didn't drive to the company. Thank you very much. Wendy, number five. Okay, who wants to help Wendy? Quien quiere ayudarle a Wendy? The principal didn't. Didn't. Didn't, exactly. The principal didn't. Send many emails. Send many emails. Bernardo, pero ¿por qué le quita la letra S si en tercera persona se usa la letra S en el verbo? Maybe that's your question in this moment, right? Aquí no estamos en el presente. We are not in the present. We are in the past. Estamos en el pasado. Okay, we are in the past. So, the S, the S is not necessary anymore. The last one, Cristina, number six. Cristina, number six. The program um, wasn't 
is too slow. The program wasn't is too slow. Mm -hmm. But this is in present. Yes. What about the others? What do you think? ¿Qué piensan los demás? The program wasn't, it's okay, right? But the program wasn't, is too slow. Is that correct or incorrect? I think it's the program didn't. The program wasn't too slow. Exactly. So the correct it's form slow. is the program wasn't too slow. ¿Por qué voy a poner el is? El is es en presente. Si ya puse el pasado, que es wasn't, the program wasn't too slow. All right? El programa no fue demasiado lento. O no estaba demasiado lento. And those are the answers. Do you have any question about the past? Do you have any question about the past? No? Are you sure? If you have questions, you ask now, all right? Yeah, just reviewing, solo repasando. Recuerden que en presente tenemos tres formas del verbo to be. Am, is, y are. I am, you are. He is, she is, it is. We are, you are, they are. En presente, in present. Pero en pasado no usamos esa forma. En pasado, esa forma presente pasa a ser was or where. I was. You were. He was. She was. It was. We were. You were. They were. Okay? Yeah. So, is it clear? ¿Estamos claros? Is it clear? Yes, ok, voy a pasar asistencia. Bueno, uh, no pasé asistencia a las nueve. No pasé porque no le no llamé su nombre, pero sí tomé notas de los que estaban conectados. Ok, I took notes. Ya, yeah, solé mi paz y ya te que quedan. Les pasaré asistencia nuevamente. No se desconecten. Don't get disconnected, please. After I pass y ya Después de pasar asistencia. Carlos. Here. Cristina. Present. Daniel. Present. Doris. Present. Ellen Eason. Present teacher. Kelsey. Hazel. Present. Hector. Present teacher. Irma. Present teacher. Javier. Present teacher. Johnny is not connected. Mauricio. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Majo is not connected. Rafael. Present teacher. Ok. Santos. I here teacher. Ulises. Present teacher. Wendy. I am here. Carla María. Present. En Carla Raquel. Present teacher. Ok. Thank you very much. Ok, uh, just give me a little moment, solo denme unos minutitos más solo para explicarles la siguiente actividad, just to explain the next activity, ok? Um, in the next activity, we have a conversation, ok? So, as you remember, si recuerdan, as you remember, in a, ok, let me go here, déjenme bajar nada más. So, in, in, the, in the first part, uh, you practice a conversation, right? We pronounce a conversation. And in the conversation we practice on page number 31, we had the agent and a customer, okay? We had an agent and a customer. Teníamos un agente y un cliente, all right? And the, and the, the agent called the customer to see the satisfaction, to see the satisfaction of the customer, okay? Yeah, el agente llamó para ver la satisfacción, to see the satisfaction of the customer. And the customer wasn't satisfied. The customer wasn't satisfied. Okay? El cliente no estaba tan satisfecho, right? The, the client wasn't so satisfied. So listen, please. Van a hacer una conversación. You will make a conversation. In this conversation, um, one person will be a company's agent. And the company's agent is calling all customers to check that everything was explained to them, right? Entonces, van a, van a, uno va a ser, el rol de una persona en la conversación va a ser agente de una compañía, un agente de ventas puede ser. 
o de servicio de atención al cliente, I don't know. Y va a verificar que todo fue explicado o provisto a los clientes. All right? B. La otra persona, the next person, is a customer. Es un cliente. So you tell the agent how your level of satisfaction is. Van a decir su nivel de satisfacción con el producto o el servicio que le vendieron y todo lo que no hicieron to o todo lo que no sucedió. Everything that didn't happen. Okay? And you can start like this. Podemos empezar así. Good morning. I'm Bernardo from what Rex Company. Am I speaking to Ellen Nilsson? Ellen Nilsson says, good morning. Yes, he is speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with us. And then you say, okay, the product is fine. But, but I didn't receive the manual of the product, for example. No recibí el manual. I didn't receive the manual of the product. And, y continúan agregando cosas en pasado, okay, in past. Yeah? Is it clear? ¿Está claro qué van a hacer? Is it clear what you have to do? Yes? So you need to report what happened and what didn't happen, right? Basically, van a reportar lo que pasó y lo que no pasó. Mi satisfacción, my satisfaction with this product, okay? Y van a hacer la conversación en su cuaderno, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Alguna duda? ¿Any doubt? ¿No? ¿No doubts? No hay dudas. Oh. Eso es para mañana o ahorita. <laughs> Quieren trabajarlo ahorita. <laughs> it's time, it's time, Carla. I'm kidding, all right? Ya es hora, it's time, I'm kidding, all right? I just wanted to explain. Solo quería explicarle para que lo tuvieran listo para mañana. Tal vez hay una oportunidad de que compartan la conversación que hicieron, que hicieron, que hagan, perdón, sorry. Vamos a abrir un espacio para que les voy a, les voy a permitir que compartan pantalla, para que compartan la conversación que van a hacer, ¿ok? Le toman una foto si quieren o no sé cómo van a hacer o, o la hacen en notas en su teléfono, no sé dónde la van a hacer. Y les voy a dar un espacio para que compartan la conversación y la veamos juntos. So we check it together. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿De acuerdo? Yes. Yo sé que todo, yo sé que trabajan yo sé que trabajan y a veces es difícil apartar ese tiempo, pero nunca les dejo tareas así, ¿verdad? I never assign homework like this. So, hagamos un esfuerzo por esta vez al menos. Let's make an effort. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? No, ningún ok. Escucho. I don't listen to any ok. Okay, okay teacher. All right. Please do it for me. Ok, please do it for me. Ok, everybody. So, it's time. Uh, thank you very much for connecting today. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Good night and take care. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. God willing. Good night, teacher. God willing. Primero Dios. Good night.